Okay, I'm going to do a quick overview of the OSIN Audio Editor. Uh, it's available on all platforms, and it was uh, developed by a research team at the University of Santa Catarina in Brazil. I got in touch with them to do a quick interview about just the story about how this uh, kind of amazing editor has been created and provided for free to the community. You can check that out on my SynthTalk blog. But I just want to go over some of the uh, features that are really useful. They're not always obvious because uh, the design is pretty uh, clean and simple, which is great. Uh, so I'm just going to go over a couple of items. One's navigating. I've opened a, a file here. You can have multiple files open and switch back and forth between them in this explorer on the left. Your cursor, you can spacebar to play. Uh, you can command, uh, you can home and end. Use the home and end keys to move around. Arrow key to jump, command arrow to jump in larger increments. And then shift command, of course, to highlight. And when you highlight something, you can actually just change the amplitude right there. Some zooming features are really useful. You can simply scroll and zoom way in very quickly. That's really handy. You can uh, command plus to do traditional kind of zoom by step, but you can also do command dot to go back to your last zoom level. So if I zoom in once, zoom in twice, command dot will take me back to the last level as opposed to command zero, which takes you all the way out. So one of the handiest features is quick zoom, which you use by tapping the Q key and it quickly zooms into where your cursor is. So you can actually select something for editing in the overview, tap Q, and then fine tune its in and out points. By just holding the cursor over where you want to zoom in and tapping Q. And you can always cut something and do that. Once you have something selected, you can actually drag it where you want it, relocate it. You can also tap this magnifying glass and zoom just to this selection and then zoom back out using that. And then another really handy feature is multi-select. So you can select by using command, holding the command key and dragging the mouse. You can select multiple sections of the file. When you hit the space bar, it'll actually play through each selected section. You can change the amplitude of those sections easily and apply any effects that are built in or that you have installed as audio units or VSTs. And you can cut. You can go up here to the file menu and say new from clipboard and have a whole new file that is just the three cut sections concatenated. I'm going to open up the file explorer and go back to this file. Undo. You can see how fast it operates. So markers are pretty handy. You can place your cursor anywhere in the file. Hit Command K. Name a marker. Hit Enter. And just to just to give yourself locations in the file that are important. But you can also um, fine tune the location of these. By hitting Quick Zoom, drag them around. Once you have them where you want them, you can navigate between markers by using Option Command. So I'm jumping to the first marker here, Option Command Arrow to the second marker. Option Command Arrow back to the first one. If I hold down the Shift key, Option Command, I can actually select the area between the markers. And I can cut that, put that in a new file. That's, that's really useful too. Go up to the View menu, waveform and spectral view, and you'll see the spectrum of the file down below the waveform. You can also select a single channel by tapping above it or below it, or both by tapping in between. You can quickly see the audio properties of the file by hitting Command-I. You can also add artwork. Um, you can actually uh, see the markers here and the time cuts and some statistics for the file. So that's, that's handy too. A 
effects are pretty nice. Uh, if I just take this last section here, I can go up and use the noise gate under dynamics processing. When an effect comes up, it gives you a play button to hear the effect, a waveform view to see uh, what you're hearing. And then you can hit play and here and, and make adjustments here and hear the effects of them before you apply them. Okay, the last thing I want to go over is regions. You can select an area of the file, right click on it and say, create region. So it creates these regions that you can drag around name. You can actually add comments too and save the file and share it with other people. Uh, you can create multiple regions. What's interesting is once you get those dialed in to a, the locations you want them, you can go to File, Export Audio from Regions, and save a region, uh, each region to a separate file. That's really, that's really handy. So that is about everything. I just kind of covered a few features that I think are really cool about this editor. Check out the description for a link to the Synth Talk article on OSIN Audio and interview I did with the research team that developed the app. Let me know if this helped in the comments and uh, see you soon.